Hello dear crypto friends and welcome to this uh, again quite brutal day in the crypto market. Um, it is looking quite brutal in the market so let's start right away Bitcoin in the daily chart right. I always like to start here in the daily chart. This is our long term logarithmic regression channel which I always use here and our long term moving averages. In green you see the moving average of 200 weeks or 1400 days accordingly and in blue you see the weekly moving average of 290 weeks and 2030 days accordingly. So why those two averages? Why are those two so important? Friends if we go back here we can see that those are the two averages that have been respected time and time again by Bitcoin here in 2018 here in the March 2020 low and then of course famously also twice in 2015 early 2015 and August 2015 and the MA200 has thus been a quite strong support but we see that it did sometimes dip below the MA200 right it did dip below the weekly moving average 200 in March 2020 we had one two three four five six seven eight we had eight daily candle closes below the weekly moving average 200 and also in 2015 it looked quite brutal here it also dipped below the moving average 200 and here in August 2015 it was quite insane you can see that we had a lot of daily candle closes really a lot of them below the MA200 so that was quite insane looking that was a quite brutal time so we can see it can dip below the weekly average 200 right and therefore for our current situation right now where Bitcoin is uh, dropping like a stone what are the most important support levels well that is of course for one the weekly moving average 200 that is very near already we have dipped now at the time of recording to 23,200 and the weekly moving average 200 is now at 22,000 300 okay so we are almost there friends we are only thousand dollars away and with the velocity that how this is dropping right now I have some trouble imagining that this support will hold I have some trouble now I don't say it is impossible but in 2020 it was also very similar in the March 2020 low look what happened it was very fast the dip was insanely fast in one day we dropped from almost 8000 down to 4600 and it went through the moving average 200 like a hot knife through butter as if it was almost not even there and it went straight to the moving average 290 weeks which was back then at 3883 it did it perfectly the MA290 or 2030 days and in 2018 the situation was different we see that we didn't come so steeply and touch the moving average 200 quite some time after the dip actually started we see the dump started on the 13th of November 2018 and we hit the MA200 on the 15th or 14th of December 2018 so one month after the dump started but in March 2020 the situation was different so the dump started probably here okay we could say it started here but the real high velocity of the dump started here on the 7th of March 20 and it already reached the absolute low on the 13th of March so six days later and for me the situation here is more alike to March 2020 because if we look at the inclination how steeply this is coming in this looks a lot more aggressive than it did here in 2018 in late 2018 this to me looks looks more like here in March 2020 and if we take these patterns here from 2020 and overlay it you know we can kind of like make an overlay here we can see what would happen if we could continue like this so we would really go down to the MA290 which currently stands at 17,000 and could even in theory dip a bit below it okay we could even dip below it so we shouldn't be surprised if this thing will go through the MA200 like a hot knife through butter we shouldn't be surprised friends because the velocity for me the velocity with which something is dumping is a quite big indicator as to the momentum and the last times it came with such high speed here and then also here that was an insanely high speed dump here we can see it in 
2015 that was an insanely high velocity so i think every time when the velocity is extremely high with which it comes down like bam it comes down with insane force then i think the ma200 will not hold but of course a wonder could happen a miracle could happen and we could bounce from the ma200 we could see something like this here it goes down now bounces a bit and then if we're extremely lucky it reverses but friends to be honest i i have some trouble imagining it with the speed with which it's coming down now i think the two most likely scenarios are either we bounce at the ma200 and then go lower to the ma290 or we go really like in march 2020 through the ma200 as if it wouldn't even exist and then tomorrow or the day after tomorrow already we would hit the ma290 and then get a much stronger reaction and then probably bounce quite a lot then we stay maybe a bit here and then if we are lucky we get a reversal at some point in the coming weeks or months depending of course on how the dollar index will develop, on how the bonds will develop, on how the stock market will develop, because we know we have established now on this channel quite a lot, we have talked about it a lot, that Bitcoin is extremely correlated to the stock market, it's super correlated to the NASDAQ, it is super anti-correlated to the dollar index, meaning if the dollar pumps, Bitcoin dumps, and we can even see now if we go to the dollar index the worst case scenario has happened friends this sucker is pumping like a crazy maniac look at this uh day before yesterday i was saying oh let us hope let us hope that this will be rejected by the 0 0.702 or by the 0.786 fibonacci retracement levels but as you can see it is just cutting through it like it's not even there like if it like it doesn't even exist so the probability that the dollar will make new highs now is really not so low unfortunately i really hoped it wouldn't come to this as we can see if we go into this long-term trend channel here we can see that the green line here the lower band always marked historical supports and only once twice three times four times five times ever in its entire history did bitcoin reach this lower logarithmic support band so now the logarithmic support band friends stands at right now at 15000 so if we continue to dump with an insanely high velocity we could really break through this and go down worst case and that is now my worst case target friends to 15000 okay this is like okay super worst case scenario in my opinion I don't think to be honest that we will go a lot lower could we go even lower let us try to think a bit together let us try to think so after the first bubble Bitcoin corrected an insane 93.52 percent okay in the second bubble Bitcoin corrected only 86.74 percent aha interesting that was not as much anymore and then in the third time 83.83 percent so we see there is some kind of declining trend right 93.5 86.7 83.8 so it is not unreasonable to assume that right now it will be again even less than before i don't think we will get an 83 percent correction because as i said the this trend is declining right it seems as if the corrections are getting less and less brutal which makes sense because long term the volatility of bitcoin will of course decrease the bigger an asset is normally the less the volatility becomes bitcoin cannot behave uh, as in the early days with over 90 percent corrections anymore when there are like millions and millions of new people in bitcoin and big institutional investors it will not behave the same so i think we can assume it is quite reasonable to assume that we might get worst case maybe a 78 maybe like super worst case 80 percent correction an 80 percent correction would put us at 13,500 and if we go to the green area here to the green support band the long-term support band it is now resting at if we hit it the next days it would rest at 15,000, and this would be a 78 percent correction 
So I think it is quite reasonable, friends, to assume that this dump will not be as insane as the previous ones and we see a declining trend. The bear markets are getting less and less brutal, but of course, 78% would still be quite insane and we shouldn't be surprised if it even goes a bit lower to 80% which would bring us down to 13,700. So somewhere between this area now, right? If we put it back in the moving averages, um, somewhere now between the MA200, which stands now at 22,200, and we have actually already almost hit it right now <laughs> while recording this video. So somewhere between here, friends, and here, will be the low of this dump and i think the likelihood is for is highest in my opinion that we hit this moving average of 290 weeks that we have hit in the march 2020 low here in march 2020 and that we have hit also in august 2015 because friends look if i just make this line here longer the weekly moving average 290 did not technically exist in august 15 but it would have had this inclination and it would have hit it quite perfectly in august 15. so i think the moving average of 290 weeks is the ultra super crazy brutal support for bitcoin the brutal support and i have some trouble imagining that it will go through the ma290 so for me Friends, the most likely target now in this dump is 17,000, okay? That is for me the most likely target. It could go as low as 13,500 or something, 13,000 a few hundred in the most ultra extreme case. I would put the probability for that with like maybe 10 or 20% tops, like 20 tops, more like 10%. And for me, the probability that it also stops now at the MA200 at 22,000 is also quite low, also maybe like 10 or 20%. So the highest likelihood, if I just remove this stuff, the highest likelihood for me is that we stop somewhere around here, between 20,000 and 15,000, somewhere around this area. That is for me the highest likelihood. And friends, we have to think in likelihoods. You cannot go here and tell like, oh yeah, it's, it's super clear that we will hit this or that support band and this is like 100% guaranteed. In Bitcoin land, in crypto land, nothing is guaranteed, friends. And we have always to think in probabilities. So the area where I have the most buy orders for coins is, of course, in this area here. It seems also that the weekly moving average 290 weeks is also a very good support for the altcoin market because that is here total two, so all altcoins with Ethereum. And we see that, aha, uh -huh, that already was a quite strong support. So could we go below this? Could we go again below the blue line and then rebound and then go up again? Of course, sure, why not? I think this is quite likely to happen. So uh, putting buy orders now for Bitcoin and for altcoins, for solid altcoins, solid altcoins, diversification over many different altcoins, I think is a good idea. I'm just telling you I'm buying right now. I have already buy orders and I put the buy orders accordingly when I think Bitcoin is between the weekly average 200 and the weekly moving average 290. That is what I will do. But of course, friends, I will never tell you what you should do. That is clear because I'm not a financial advisor, by the way. Please always do your own research before investing. I'm just a regular guy and I could end up to be wrong. So what will happen afterwards if we now hit like say 17,000, could we go directly into a new rally? Like, is this possible? Like this is like one, two, three, four, five, a five wave alias structure. Could something like this happen? Friends, I'm happy to tell you that uh, by Elliott wave theory, it is possible that this could happen. So we could go down now and could go unexpectedly directly into a new rally, okay? It's not impossible. It's not ruled out by Elliott waves. It's not like, no, this is absolutely impossible. But will it absolutely happen? Of course, no one can tell you that because, as I said, this is super tied to world developments like the situation in Ukraine, the situation in China. What is the Fed doing? How much will it tighten? How fast will it tighten? Will it backpedal? Will it make a 180 degree turn? Will it say, no, we are not going to raise the interest rates as much as we said? 
We cannot foresee these things, friends. We cannot foresee them. And depending on that, it will also depend like how strong the bounce will be. And if we then go directly into a new rally, which is not excluded, it is not excluded. Or if we just linger a bit here and like we have like a stupid, ugly bear market and then only in late 2023 or early 2024 for the next Bitcoin halving, we then go into the next cycle. That friends, I cannot foresee. This will depend on huge macroeconomic events. But I just want to tell you that it is absolutely possible, like super possible that we go now as low as 17,000 rebound and, and go directly into a new rally. This is absolutely possible and not forbidden by any laws. So friends, this is the current situation. The most likely target for Bitcoin again is for me the area around 17,000. So from around 20,000 to maybe 15,000. In this area for me is a very high likelihood that we will see the low. I'm not so optimistic that the MA200 will hold, but of course we could be surprised. Uh, miracles can still happen, right? Use the opportunity, don't despair friends, be in a good mood because this is a historic moment that is happening now, historic moment. Only every four years is Bitcoin doing something like it is doing right now. I'm not joking. Every four years on average. Have a nice day, friends, and see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye.